Plastic in Paradise. Bonsoir, Siesto. Hi, my name is Miss Sarah, and I'm very fortunate to work in Bali, Indonesia, at Changu Community School. I'm currently teaching a year two class, which is for children aged six to seven, and my students are passionate about. <laughs> Bali, the Paradise Island, is currently being inundated with waste. In June this year, Bali banned styrofoam, plastic bags and plastic straws, but the waste problem still remains. It seemed the perfect opportunity to base my capstone project on the theme, Caring for the Environment. In order to do this, the students first needed to carry out research regarding rubbish in our local area. Using observation skills, we started by investigating the areas around our school, looking for different types of rubbish. Students recorded this by taking photographs on the iPads and labelling the type of waste found. This was mostly plastic. When returning to the classroom, students were asked where this rubbish should come from and they realised the effects humans have on the environment. Using the National Geographic resource about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, students found out about the effects of waste washing into the oceans. By using a globe, the children realised how everything was connected through the oceans and how our waste was contributing to the global problem. Students were then asked to follow up on this activity by taking photographs of rubbish around their homes or local area. To deepen the students' understanding of the extent of waste pollution and to understand the scale of the problem, the photographs taken locally were then used as part of a sorting activity to show waste pollution in rivers locally, regionally and globally. The photographs showed different perspectives for the students and it was during this activity that I saw the attitudes of the children shift and they showed a real interest in finding out what they could do to help. It seemed very apt to start the following activity by reading the book Ocean Warriors Plastic in Paradise. When reading this book it made the students realise that as children they can make a difference which connects with the attitudes of responsibility. In order for students to recognise their personal impact of rubbish on the environment, students collected their own waste for a week. They then sorted the items to find out what they were using the most and recorded their data using a tally chart and bar graph. When putting all the data together, we found out that our main waste was from paper hand towels and plastic food wrappers. Students were then asked to think about what they could do with their rubbish. Linking with the skills problem solving, the children came up with a solution to recycle the items that could be recycled, such as plastic and paper. Students were then shown the National Geographic resource, The Reality of Plastics, which made them think about whether recycling is the best option. Students were also asked to think about what they would do with the rest of their rubbish that could not be recycled, which they usually throw in the dustbin. A video clip was shown regarding the Bali rubbish dump, highlighting the lack of recycling facilities as well as the huge amount of rubbish that has accumulated. To help the students think of solutions, a local artist, Maddy Bayak, was invited to speak to the children about his plasticology project. He focuses on making his artwork from rubbish that he collects around the island. Students were inspired to reuse their waste by making pictures and 3D structures. Students were also asked to think of where the majority of their waste comes from. When they realised that their snack boxes were responsible for most of their waste, they started to think about ways to reduce this. Finally, the students reflected on the different solutions that they had come up with and wrote promises explaining what they would do to reduce or reuse their waste in Bali. These were shared with the whole class, demonstrating that there is more than one solution to a problem. I promise to make something with plastic. I promise to compost and be responsible for my rubbish and I promise to try to do zero waste. I promise to pick up rubbish from the ocean. The impact of this project was clear to see when the students started changing their ways with regards to waste. 
students started bringing things from home that they had made with their household rubbish. Snack boxes started changing to zero waste boxes. One student brought in a reusable cloth bag. Another made an eco brick. And one child even brought her own hand towel to school to use instead of paper towels. My students feel so empowered to reduce waste and have endless ideas on how they want to move forward with this. One student has already presented to another class about not using paper towels. Another is currently making a movie to share online. And one group of students want to make a maze in the playground using eco bricks. When reflecting on my own teaching, I feel proud that I've inspired my students to care for the world so passionately as I do. And hopefully my students will help the island of Bali return to paradise.